Hey everyone. So you guys already saw some of you actually watched when I went to Walmart this time. So for those who actually are in the know, I bought some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles blind bags from Mega Blocks. Now I was going to talk about it first because I was like, ah, it's not going to matter. But as soon as that double came, as soon as I got one that I didn't really want, that's where I'm going to actually start complaining. And I know I should have started complaining from the get go, but this is not really complaint, but it is kind of a complaint. Just saying mega blocks, you sneaky bastards. So when it comes to Legos, and let me talk about a long time ago, a long time ago in Lego, when it comes to Lego minifigures, I actually cheated because, well, technically my mom came up with the idea. I was like, okay, the idea was I take one piece out of the Lego minifigure and then give it back to the store if it's a, a freaking double, which I know it was messed up now. At the time it was messed to freak up, but there was no other options yeah, there's no way to actually say, oh, let's sell it on eBay or something. And look how that turned out. Out of all the freaking Lego minifigures I have, I only sold just two. And offer up, <laughs> offer up didn't exist back then. And now existing, I still has what? A whopping bag of zero. None of them still haven't sold even in freaking offer up. Given they weren't even on offer up right now, but still. Some are up now, and the freaking lady who wanted to trade crap for them, well, she she technically ducked out because she was like, oh, my car got wrecked, and that's why she just left, so whatever, bring it. But still, at least with the Lego minifigures, when it comes to giving them back, or at least going to someone and say, hey, I haven't touched it whatsoever, they're still in the bag, the bag actually looks great, because... There's a way to freaking open it without actually wrecking it and making people say, oh, it's open. You're a piece of crap. So, yeah. On the other hand, and of course, yes, technically, Lego minifigures in Series 13, they decide to actually super glue even the opening flap of it. I think that's what they call it, flap. So they did that, and then they made sure that you... No one could actually truly steal from them because, well, they stole. Yeah, holy frick. Yeah, look at the freaking past ones where I actually did some stuff. I didn't do anything. I just actually took footage of people taking crap, which I didn't get the person who took it. But I can tell you that I found like at least a few bags open. Anyways, so with Mega Blocks, it's worse. With Mega Blocks... The freaking bags are completely freaking damn wrecked. You actually have to take scissors and cut them open. There's no other way of opening them. And that's some bull crap, man. That is some major bull crap. Now for me to try to sell it. Now I can't even say it's brand new, which it is brand new. Only thing that happened was the head and the comic book came out of the bag. That's it. So I would say 90% brand new. But I can't actually go around saying it's brand new because it is opened. Which opened either way. It depends. Like, for instance, if I open the freaking Lego minifigure bag, I look in there. I say, oh, freak, it's a double. That's it. And I put it somewhere so it can be safe. That's it. That's the last time I ever touched it. This, however, oh, freaking bastards. So now I don't even have the nice appeal of it's like it was never touched. Yeah, thanks, bastards. Thank you so much to make me actually have to get scissors. And what's even worse is that I first I cut it the first time. Then I had to take another incision. Sometimes I even had to take this not I mean uh, the freaking scissors inside the package and right open because my gosh, you guys really need a better freaking way of doing that because frick, man, frick. So Mega Blocks is really gonna make it a hard time to actually sell it. At least the good news is that I already have one already out. I already have a Leonardo. So Leonardo is going to be taking photos of. I'm going to put it on freaking offer up for $5. And we'll see what the freaking damn happens. Hopefully someone will be like, I'll buy it. And they're not a freaking damn flaker. Yeah, I got so many freaking damn flakers. It's not even funny. So many freaking damn flakers. 
I mean, I've dealt with lots of flakers who are like, oh, I would buy it low for you. I would buy it from you. I would buy it from you. And there was one time where I was trying to get someone to sell something to me. And she flaked so damn hard. It's not even funny. So damn hard. I hope the bastard who actually bought the crap from her. I really hope that they actually bought the $3 thing. Yeah, I hope they bought them for $3 because apparently they were scratched the freak up. So I know, I know I still have some aggression, but either way. Mega blocks. Why the hell did you make the package so hard to deal with? Why? But at least the good news is that I still have three out of four. Freaking damn it. It's like, come on, come on. You're dealing with a freaking guy who collects Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Like in the beginning, I collected the original ones, the flip action ones, not actually cool ones that you can bend and crap. I rather actually have the bend ones that you can actually treat like action figures instead of ones with action, but that's what my mom bought me. So I had... Leonardo, Raphael, and Donatello. No Michelangelo. Frick. Then I had the one with the flip head action. Sadly, those are not with me anymore. Yeah, the Leonardo and Donatello actually both broke. But at least in that one, I actually did have Michelangelo. And then I had the one where you had Raphael tossing pizzas. And then that's the... Then there's a big freaking gap all the way. But apparently I had a... Leonardo police officer one, but I'm like, yeah, I didn't have it, but I still I have the head for it. But I don't remember having that one. And then we had another one was Michelangelo, and he lost freaking damn legs for some damn reason. Then we go all the way to when I started buying them on my own. I was hoping that eventually I would buy the Leon. I bought Leonardo. I bought Leonardo, freaking damn tongue. And it was 2003. I technically wanted to buy at least a freaking Ninga Ning Pal Ninja Turtles, but I missed that toy line, which sucks balls. So, yeah, I bought that when I was going to try to get the other three, you know, like in slow installments. But sadly, it got away from me way too fast. And then later on, I bought a remake of the 90s ones. So I have Donatello and Michelangelo was still waiting for the other ones and they never came. I finally bought all four of them, and it was because they were in a four-pack from Family Dollar. So I technically cheated on that one. I wanted to buy the Legos, buy the Lego Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but those passed me by so damn fast. Not only that, but to get all four of them, I had to pay $110. I'd get some Lego pieces. Awesome, but frick. Oh, let's see. And we come to today, I guess. Did I buy? I, I I haven't bought any of the newest toy line, which I don't know if I would even try to. I mean, I was interested in trying again, but eh. so we got these Mega Blocks ones, and I'm gonna try it with these. So as you can see, bought three of them. Technically, I bought four of them, but sadly, no Raphael. So I spent money on nothing, and I still need a Raphael. You know what? I could actually go and offer up and just say trade for Raphael. It's just that I don't want to have the idea of number one, he's missing the freaking canister, and number two, someone who actually has greasy hands. Is ugh. Anyways, this went too far, too long. So have a good day, guys. Thank you for watching.